Hey guys, so I'm here to give you the answer for this riddle and as always to give you a new riddle for you to think about. And then of course that riddle, uh, the answer is going to come up with a new video along with a new riddle, okay? So in this first riddle that I gave you or in this riddle, you had four squares along with some mathematical symbols and some results and you had to make this true, okay? So what it said was actually the first thing that I did to answer this riddle was to allocate numbers to the squares because not numbers as you can see letters um, allocate letters to the squares because that makes it easier for you to, to work out the results okay so this riddle said that a plus b had to be equal to 8 uh, c minus d had to be equal to 6 a plus c had to be equal to 13 and b plus d had to be equal to 8 now, if you put it this way, the first thing that you're going to notice is that A and D need to be the same because I have two different letters. They are adding the same letter, B, and it gives you the same result. So if A plus B equals to 8, and if uh, B plus D equals to 8, then A needs to be equal to D, okay? Another way to do this is the way that I'm going to show you how you get the answer for this riddle for all other letters, which is, so on this side I put the riddle itself, in here I wrote the equations, and then what I'm going to do is one by one, I'm going to use a couple of equations, a pair of equations, and I'm going to get to some results, okay? So, I'm picking up the first equation, a plus b equals to 8, and I'm picking up the b plus d equals to 8. Now, if b plus d equals to 8, that means that b equals to 8 minus d, right? But I know that um, a plus b equals to 8, so I'm going to say a plus 8 minus d, which is the b, okay, equals to 8. And I automatically get that a minus d equals 8 minus 8, which gives me 0, and or 4, A equals to D. So I showed you in two different ways that A equals to D. That's great, but it's not going to give me the answer just right now, right? So what I'm going to do is keep using these equations and get numbers. So now I'm going to pick the second equation and the last equation. So A plus C equals to 13 and C minus D equals to 6, okay? So a plus c equals to 13 and c minus a equals to 6. So what did I do here? Here I know that a is equal to d, right? So I just substituted d for a because I already know that a and d are the same. So now I have two equations with a and c and giving me two, two different numbers. So I can work this. So I can say that c equals to 6 plus a because I changed the a to this side and I'm then going to put c on the other equation and I get a plus c uh, 6 plus a so a plus c so a plus 6 plus a equal to 13 and by doing this I can get that 2 times a because a plus a gives me 2a equals to 13 minus 6 which gives me 7 and therefore a and d are going to be equal to 7 divided by 2, which is 3.5. So as quickly as that, I already have the answer for two of the letters. So I'm halfway through. I just need to get the answer for B and C, okay? So what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to pick on my equations, look at them. I'm going to now use the last equation and I'm going to get another number. So I know that C equals 6 plus A. Again, where did this come from? Well, C minus D equals to 6, so C equals 6 plus D, but I know that D equals to A, so I'm going to use that equation, and I know that A and D are 3.5, so C, C is going to be equal to 6 plus 3.5, which gives me 9.5. So I already have three numbers out of four, okay? So I just need to get the last number. So now to get the last number, again, I have all the equations in here. I'm going to use the third equation that says B plus D equals to 8. So B plus D equals to 8. That means that B plus 3.5 equals to 8. So B is going to be 8 minus 3.5. So B is equal to 4.5, okay? And there, there you go, you have all the answers. I now have that 
So let me just go back really quickly. The first thing that I did was to get the, maybe it's not the hardest part, but if I figure out A equals to D straight away, I just needed to get, to get one of these numbers and I did. And then it's just using these numbers that happen to be in the equations that have C and B, which are the other numbers that I don't know. And I just use them directly. And just as fast as that, I could get the answer for all the numbers. So that means that the answer for this riddle is 3.5 plus 4.5 equals to 8. And then 3.5 plus 9.5 equals to 13. Uh, 4.5 plus 3.5, so I just just read this one now, equals to 8. And 9.5 minus 3.5 equals to 6. And feel free to look and to check in a calculator if you don't want to do your calculations in your head. This works, okay? So that is the answer for the riddle. So it looks like strange the first time, at least the first time that I saw it. I was like, wow, okay, I really want to do this. And then when I went on and did it, it's much easier and faster than you would imagine, right? So as always, I have a new riddle for you and that's the new riddle. So this one is not so much about puzzles and mathematics, although I have more of those coming. This one is about checking how many triangles in total you can see in this picture, okay? So as I told you, the answer for this riddle is going to come in another video along with another riddle, okay? I don't know if I'm going to give you this answer in one or two weeks. The reason for that is because I have a video for you that I'm thinking about putting after this one and is a, as well about the challenge. So if you like riddles, you're definitely going to like that one. Um, I don't want to tell you what it is yet. So I'm thinking about putting that one before giving the answer for this riddle. But anyway, stay tuned and you're going to get the answer for this riddle as well. So I hope you enjoyed how you could do the previous riddle. I hope you enjoy this riddle and have fun trying to do them. I hope that you're having fun overall and that you're happy and healthy. So up to my next video. Stay safe. Bye.